a message came to my mind and I want to share it with you. Do you see what is going on here? It is a person putting their hand in sand. Some people may say it is dirt, but I believe it is sand. You may ask me, Uncle Clav, why did you show me that? Give me time. It is okay to have a job. You know, we have bills to pay. You may have to pay rent, um, car insurance, car payments, gas, food, so on and so on. So basically, we may need to work to take care of our needs. I don't think there is anything wrong with buying this and that. Maybe you want extra shoes, some clothes and stuff like that. And within reason, I think it is okay. But I think for many of us, and I am looking for words to really express myself. I believe many of us live to just buy things. I am not speaking about our needs and some wants. Yes, there are some things that we need to take care of. Okay, fine. But we are going to die one day. So everything we have, in a sense, actually, I believe this is what is going to happen. Everything what we have is going to be destroyed. Yes, I know that we have to take care of our needs. But what are you really doing with your life? You may like working 80 hours a week. You may like working two or three jobs. Outside of getting your needs met and getting some things you want, why are you placing so much time in working and not really any time on God. You may tell me, Kevin, I want a very nice life. I want uh, two or three cars. I want many, many, many things. For what? We are going to be alive in the way we are for a limited time. Why waste your time doing something that is not really going to benefit you much? Yes, I know you are working to take care of your needs, but why after taking care of your needs and some wants, why are you giving so much time to your job? Why are you giving so much time into making money? You may get that Mercedes. You may get that, uh, I don't know too much about fashion. You may get that really expensive cologne or perfume. You may get very, very nice clothes, but you are on earth for a limited time. As it seems, you are more concerned with obtaining things than eternal life. Concerning the video I showed you earlier, what you are doing, you are playing with sand. You are wasting your time. 
everything you own when you die is going to be passed to another. You may say, Uncle Cav, you know, I want to be great in this world. I want to be known. So in order to be known, I have to have so much money. You are playing with sand. Would you take 12 hours to build a sand castle near a body of water, knowing that the tide will come in and wash it away. Would you do that? You may tell me no, and I am asking you, why wouldn't you do that? You may tell me why place so much time into doing something just to see it destroyed, like wasting your time. I believe you are getting my point now. We are on earth for a limited time. Not speaking about your needs, not speaking about some of your wants, you are wasting your time obtaining useless things. Oh, Kevin, how can you call my Mercedes useless? How can you call my 20 cars useless? How can you call my 80 pairs of shoes useless? You are working in vain. What reward from God will you get from working 100 hours a week, 80 hours a week? What will God reward you with from being able to buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or I don't know too much about nice things? What, what reward will you get from those things? Those things are going to pass away. A lot of your focus is on fashion, making a lot of money, getting people to smile upon you and envy you and stuff like that. You are playing with sand. Look at this. This is exactly what you are doing. You are playing with sand. Are you understanding what I am saying? I understand you have your needs. I understand you have your wants, but why are you giving your so much time into things that is meaningless? I am not saying it is wrong to want to look nice. There's nothing wrong with having a nice car, but what are you doing with so much of your time? You are looking to be rich. You placing so much time into your job to where you don't really have much time to do other things. You may say to me, Uncle Kev, when I was younger, I was poor. So I want to make sure that I will never be poor again. But you only have a limited time on this earth. You should take your time. Yes, I know you have to work, but you should take your time to pray, to read the Bible, to fast, learn more things of God, so on and so on, like help the poor, help people. These things, I believe if you make it to heaven, you will be rewarded for these things. You can make millions and millions and millions and millions. What reward will you get in heaven for making so much money? Tell me. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, please. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Did you hear that? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Why? 
where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. So don't lay treasures on this earth where people can steal it, where it can rust, where it can be destroyed in essence. Okay, verse 20. But lay up for yourselves, what? Treasures in heaven. Why? Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So in essence, lay your treasures in heaven where it is going to be safe, to where it will still hold its value, to where it will still be there. 